Hello everyone and a warm welcome. We're at the King Power Stadium in the East Midlands for this one. I'm Derek Ray and ready with his tactics board alongside me is Stuart Robson, my commentary partner. And looking forward to bringing you action from the Premier League coming right up. It's Leicester City and they take on Arsenal. Well Derek, we can talk about coaches and their methods but it's now down to the players. Which ones are going to stand out, who will affect the game and who will have the greater desire? It should be a cracking game though. Well, here's how Leicester City will line up. Well, they're starting with an attacking 4-5-1 formation with three players in advance of two holding midfielders. But it's important that the wide players come in field to join the centre forward at the right time. And a look at the starting lineup for Arsenal. Aaron Ramsdale as the goalkeeper. Granite Xhaka plays alongside Jorginho in the centre of midfield. And the main striker here is Edward Nketia. Thank you, King Power Stadium. Enjoy the game. And now they get the ball rolling. Tossard. Jacker with it. Christiansen. And take it away. Well, James Madison, the kind of player who at times makes the game look ridiculously simple. Stewart, what might we see from him today? Well, he's the most creative player on the field. He can run with the ball, he can get himself out of tight situations, he can see a pass, he's very creative with his play. I think he's going to be the outstanding player today. Couldn't keep it. Bukayo Saka. Nketia. Oh, they're going to forge ahead. Oh, a smart stop. Who can he pick out? Splendid defending. The attack continues, they're making considerable progress. Plenty of players waiting in the middle. He takes aim. A goal! The opening statement of the match. A richly deserved lead, and now they can celebrate. Well, just look at this. It's a good finish and reward for their pressure. They really have controlled this game. And the boxers get us moving again. A swift reply required after the setback. Ianacho. Harvey Barnes. That's the kind of shielding play you expect from him. Not showing good defensive judgment. Bukayo Saka, Martin Odegaard, 
Can they trouble the opposition this time? Chance here. Oh, marvellous defending to deny him. No worries for the keeper. Granit Xhaka. Now Zinchenko. Jorginho. There's a slide draw pass. Oh, is he going to be punished here? Nketia. Surely. And a good take under duress there. Trossard. What a pass that lacks quality. Martin Erdegaard. They've got it now, what can they do? And a chance, Erdegaard! Really good diving stop to make sure the threat came to nothing. And over comes the corner. Needs to clear it. Trossard. Well, it looks so promising, but a goal kick the outcome. Not a huge chunk of added time. One minute. And Kessia. Well, they couldn't take advantage of the opportunity. The referee's whistle. The first half story has been written. It's half time here at the King Power Stadium. This man will get most of the plaudits for his contribution up to this point, Stuart. Well, Derek, he took his goal well and was a constant threat throughout that first half. I thought he showed a lot of skill to get out of tight situations and he had a real impact on the plate. So the ball is moving again and work to do for Leicester in this second half. Harvey Barnes, a sloppy pass. Bukayo Saka. Jorginho. Trossard. Oh, that's an interesting pass. Real chance. And a goal! They've increased their lead, and they don't want to be throwing it away from here. Well, here's the goal again, and it's a really nice ball to put him through. The vision to set up the chance is outstanding, and he makes no mistake with the finish. He showed a lot of composure there. And the ball is moving again. 2-0 is how it stands. Oh, lovely weighted ball. They might be in. He's foiled them on his own. Well, as you can see, Arsenal have had most of the ball and have used it really well today, particularly in the midfield areas. And I expect more of the same as the game goes on. Yes, yeah, really going so well for them. And who knows, they might be able to craft another opportunity. Xhaka. On to Trossard. It's with Erdogan. My 
goodness, that save, fully stretched he was. One for his own highlights reel. Well, they've been getting the substitute ready, and now they will make the personnel change. Short corner taken. Out of play, and an Arsenal throw-in forthcoming. And time for the change now. Trossard. Now Zinchenko. Zinchenko. Xhaka! And still an opportunity. Corner kick given to Arsenal. Now sending it in. Well, nothing wrong with the header, but it was always going that little bit off target. And with play stop, they will make the change now. To be replaced by number three, Kieran Tierney. Tete. 20 minutes to go in this one. That is not going to do. Well wide of the target. Jorginho and Kessia. Excellent vision. And they couldn't quite muster a real threat. An incisive pass. Well, he really wants his brace. Well, he looks so bright today. His movement has been excellent. And there's the delivery. Not the result from the set piece they were looking for. And Kessia. And using his body to good effect. Oh, judgment error by the keeper. And using his physical strength to make sure he doesn't lose the ball. Tete. And return to Vardy. Madison, well, they would have been disappointed had he spilled that one. Well, nearly at the end here. Leicester, a disappointment all in all, Stuart. Well, they've had no defensive game plan today. The forwards haven't pressed the ball. The midfield players have been outnumbered and there is too much space between the defenders at the back. That's been the problem. The electronic board has been held in the air and we're going to have a minimum of four added minutes. Trossard. Saka. So the final whistle and frustration for Leicester City fans around the world. They've lost this game. What did you make of it? Well, Derek, I thought it was a subpar performance from them. Just didn't look as sharp as normal. And I don't think they deserved anything from the game. They need to get a better performance in next time out. Well, he often cuts the figure of a thinking person's footballer. 
And Stewart, he's thought his way throughout this match. Well, of course, his finishing could have been better today, but he scored one and made a lot of chances for himself. I thought he was outstanding.